As part of efforts to tackle corruptions in public sectors to ensure transparency, accountability and governing process across the country, Anti-Corruption's Network Coalition of Association for Leadership, Peace, Empowerment and Development, CalPED, and other stakeholders have called on Kaduna State House of Assembly for the Domestication of Freedom of Information Bill to give citizens access to information to hold public servants and government officials accountable. They gave the advice at a one-day advocacy dialogue with, a, with the theme Community-Led Anti-Corruption and Accountability Engagement through Improving Access to Information with the aim to create awareness on social procurement in all sectors. Plus TV News correspondent Habila Darafai file in this report. The need to have good governance is the desire of every citizen. With this aim, CSO stakeholders gathered to seek possible ways to end corruption and embezzlement of public funds. Although Cardinal State was the first state to join the open government policy in Nigeria, yet there is no full access to information in some of the public sectors for citizens to hold accountable. Speaking, the team lead Good Governance and Anti-Corruption, Good J. Yusuf Ishaku, says poor access to information in public sectors in this tracking government budget and also spending for citizens to know and owed public servants accountable. He noted that the advocacy will accelerate passage of the Freedom of Information Bill to the next government, stressing to interface on strategies to develop monitoring mechanisms for tracking and analyzing. About 70% of all corruption in the public sector happens through the contract process. And it is as a result of that that we feel that um, citizens need to put their eyes more around the procurement and contract process because these processes is what delivers services that directly impact on the lives of people. And if we are able to minimize corruption, how government take those critical decisions that affect you and I, and citizens can have information and influence the governance process. Also hold government account. Also, the program manager, Seth Luke, says over 70% of public funds are diverted by individuals through procurement, noting that the need to monitor the transparency and actualization of government projects. Uh, in the state and uh, Nigeria entirely, we get to notice that 70% uh, of Nigeria's fund, which is the public fund, are being stolen or have been deviated through uh, public procurement. Construction of schools, construction of roads. We tend to look at the areas where we can monitor, where we can track those uh, funds so that there will be accountability, there will be transparency in uh, public funds. Not, to, not just be that uh, specific people get to embezzle all those uh, funds. Also, the Ed Anti-Corruption Unit, Cardinal State Minister of Justice, Mose Kakaki, says corruption affects development of any country, saying that increasing awareness and existing social accountability digital platforms is an effective tool for the fight against corruption in public procurement and project execution. It affects uh, development. It affects everything. And, and, you know, when resources are meant for the public good, and they are, they are invited for other purposes. You know, it stalls development, be they um, education, health, and other infrastructure. So for us, our focus is let us carry the people along, as we can see is being done in this uh, program. I would also like to do community uh, outreach so that citizens can be engaged also in the, in the fight against uh, corruption in the state. The anti-corruption network insists that the government must provide adequate and free access to information to fight against misappropriation of funds in all public sectors. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.